Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks podcast. Here with me today, I've got James the UK. Hello. Mad Mike. Hello. And Tidmouth. Hi. Now, on to the first piece of news. Uh, some people who are attentive may have said, hang on a minute, I thought this was the Lowsome podcast. Who's this James C. UK guy? Uh, first piece of news is, welcome James C. UK to Lowsome. Our, uh, fa- our, oh, brand new name, our brand new member. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, let's have a round of applause. Uh, uh, I I've got pushed to talk. I can't clap. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also still confused to who he is. By the way, okay. So basically, what it is is James. You've been following us guys for a while now, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been yeah. stalking us for a while. He's been involved in quite a few different things. I've seen lots of comments from you, and I've, I've seen. Uh, you you know you've you've got involved with uh, some of our games and you recently got involved in our open TTD game which we'll probably uh, talk about a little bit more later on but um, yeah we we had a little chat we decided that you you know we'd like you to be part of the the group I mean you're, you're just really ramping up your YouTube channel right now aren't you uh, yeah I've I've just gone up to like two videos a day now yeah uh, but we've run on Saturday because I haven't figured out what else to do on a Saturday but. Yeah, I mean it's it's good that you're um, you're doing that now. I mean, obviously, at the minute we're looking for YouTubers um, rather than you know general players. So it's good to have you guys around. So yes, so there we go. Uh, welcome, James. Uh, we'll probably talk maybe a little bit more about some of the games and stuff that you're doing later on. If anybody else uh, wants to uh, check out James's channel on YouTube, uh, the link will be in the description along with everything else that we talk about today. So that's that's really the first item of news. A big welcome to James. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, some more stuff. Uh, it sounds like James has got lots of cool ideas, but we're going to keep them under wraps just for now uh, as we move forward into the year, and uh, we'll see what comes up later on. Uh, Tidmouth, I know um, you haven't got any ideas, have you? No, not at all. <laughs> I just like, I don't know why. You, I pick on you, don't I? Yeah. But you like it. You feed off it. Yeah, well, I just get used to it. I don't even like it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you you play a role in in the group, which it's it's a bit of a strange role that you play because you're not a primary YouTuber, but you do do lots of uh, collections and and outtakes and all sorts of little bits and bobs, which really fill in all the gaps. Uh, so you're you're basically you're basically the mortar of our YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm filler. That's yeah. all I am. <laughs> Tidmouth is filler. Oh, that that maybe you'll get promoted to uh, to the uh, rank of filler, mm. or would you rather be minion? I, um, recently, Timoth, I said he was he was a minion, and then I literally changed my skin. <laughs> yeah, he literally changed his skin. Uh, welcome, Mike. Uh, was you was you on the last podcast? I don't think you was. Was you? No, I I can't remember if I was invited or forgot. Yeah, you, you probably just forgot to be honest. Mike's been uh, was very busy at the time in the middle of January. Last podcast we sat around, we talked about some of the stuff that we'd done over the new year and Christmas, and we talked about the birth of the uh, public side of the, the Lowsome group. Um, we have an extra advance on that, uh, as well as uh, James's addition to the group, and that's recently, in fact today, on the day of recording, which is I think only the day before we're going to put this live or something like that, um, we've now got a Steam group. Uh, which was James's idea? Well, it wasn't really my idea. I went, do we have a Steam group? Yeah, that that's as much of an idea as what we're going to say. You know. Oh, oh, oh I'll take I'll take all the uh, whatever the yeah whatever the word the I'm credit, looking for. Mate. That's the word. Credit. credit. It was my idea. <laughs> it was not your idea, Timmy. Damn it. Uh... Well, yeah, um, so basically I just nipped on Steam. I haven't filled in all the blanks yet, so because it was James's idea, uh, I'm going to make you a moderator, James, and we'll uh, we'll get you to fill it all in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to enjoy a spelling mistake. <laughs> yeah, Wait, yeah. so he's filler as well. <laughs> 
yeah, he's going to fill in that. Um, I, I suppose, well, it was your fault that it happened. But uh, basically, if you guys want to, to keep in, in contact with the group through Steam, you can now do that. So you'll be able to see us all there on Steam. Uh, all the loathsome guys will be moderators of that group, and anybody can join as it's a public group. Similar Quit. to the corporation we have in EVE, anybody can join the corporation, but loathsome members are directors. And that's the sort of pattern that we're going to have with a lot of the groups that we've got going on at the minute. So we'll be updating all our websites and Facebook groups with uh, the information. And of course, we'll put a link in the description. And you know what? I'm going to write this down this time. Last, last podcast, I didn't write down what links we were going to be putting in the description. And I had to go back and figure out what it was. Um, but we're going to put a link to that channel uh, in the uh, in the podcast there. Well, the other the other benefit of having a Steam community as well, because you're going to be like minded individuals, you can all play games together and stuff like that. Yeah. To the we're going to have a, so yeah, like I said, we'll get a link to the Steam community. That I've never really been involved in one before because up until recently, I just used Steam to just purchase and play games. I didn't really use it much as a community thing. And since Losum started up, I think I've started using that more. And it sounds like there's lots of new features that are going to be coming towards it uh, in the future, um, especially around streaming and stuff like that. Have you guys seen any of that? Yeah, I've seen bits. I haven't really looked too in depth at it, but uh, I know my I know my friend tried to watch me play uh, Sun the Sea the other day, and it didn't work very well. Uh, that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> That he did it mid video, and you'll see me go, Hang on a minute, and cut and go, I think it's watching me, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with new technologies and stuff like that. Is it's, it's there's a lot to work around, and a lot to um, there's a lot to figure out. I mean, even with stuff that we already use, some people still have a problem, don't they, Tidmouth? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but may well, I'd I... hope you would. <laughs> Um, there's an episode of... Uh, I wasn't able to record one of my Minecraft Let's Plays uh, earlier in the week because I was travelling for work. And Tidmouth stepped up to the plate and you had a little bit of a mistake, didn't you? E maybe. <laughs> Did you want to tell people about that? Or are you going to keep it to yourself? <sighs> I forgot to turn my microphone on so I was completely silent for the whole thing. But, but, we think, as a result of that, Tim has come up with a very new and exciting type of YouTube video. Yeah, it's a silent film. <laughs> Circa 1912, probably. <laughs> I, I don't know um, if that's going to work, but um, you've done it, haven't you? So I'm going to... Yeah, it's I'm finished. I, have, it I still haven't shown it to you yet. Yeah, there's a few bits of videos and stuff that I've collected over recent time and that I haven't passed out and shown. Um, oh, and I would like to mention to people listening now, if you want to uh, view some exclusive videos of mine, get on my Facebook and Twitter because I'm going to be putting out a couple of videos which are just for my social media followers. So go and get on them is my advice. Um, at the time that we're going out, though, I don't think we've got all the social media and stuff all linked in for James. Have we got you on the website yet, James? Yes, I went uh, yesterday, did it all yesterday, didn't we? Excellent. Uh, and you got your logo up there, he's got a brand new logo, you're pleased with it, aren't you? Uh, I'm very pleased with it, yes, yes, um, but I um, I was told I wasn't allowed to use it. What? Why? Because it doesn't match everyone else's. Who said that? Uh, uh, Zinch. Ah, oh, right, okay. What we could do, because I know you've got kind of a, kind of a gamey background and then you've got the UK bit, haven't you? Yeah. What we could do is take that UK bit out and put it on our background and kind of get the two together. What do you think to that idea? Or would you? I mean, I'm quite happy for you to keep it as it is. I, I don't mind. I mean, I I, I do. Um, I, I sort of like. I do like the black background and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But I'm sort of like slightly alternative. But uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. We'll make both, and then you can pick. So there we go. And that's how we work here at, <laughs> at Lowsome. Uh We just kind of figure things out as we go along. Feeling our way through, yeah? Yeah, just feeling our way through. Because we are, you know, as we come out in this podcast now, the actual public side of Lowsome is only like a month and a half old. Um, and so far, we've done quite a few things. Uh, how many events have we done now, Mike? Can you remember? 
Uh, I know we did the pizza spleef. Yeah. yeah. All events in total, or, or just for this month? Uh, all events that we've done so far. What, including your ones? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it, all the events we've done so far have been on the Loathsome channel, which is what we're going to be doing going oh. forward. Oh, not the ones on your channel. Not the ones that we've done on your channel. Well, we haven't done any on my channel this year. Have we, have we, oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I, I forgot we got started a new year. Yeah, uh, this year, um, I mean, in the past, I've done nearly all the events on my channel. But since Lowsome has gone public in its uh, on its public channels, we've moved it to that because it's it's more of a group community thing. It's not just me. I mean, very often it's me leading the event or organising the event. But as the events organiser for Lowsum, it should it's really these guys here that help make the events what they are. Otherwise, it'd just be me playing with myself. <coughs> Thank you for the Not smoke. the best way you could have put it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I, I felt it because these guys were involved, you know, just as much as me, then it was, it was only right to do these events on the Lowsum channel. Uh, uh, legit, yeah, probably. Uh, but but now you've got to grow the Lowsome channel. Then uh, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we're doing here now. I mean, we have we have this podcast recording that we just sit around and have a chat for, uh, talk about things and stuff for the for the uh, every month or so. Um, well, it's going to be every month. We were doing a monthly recording. We've been doing uh, we what we did start by doing weekly wrap ups, and this is where I uh, wish that Meepa was available today because he's in charge of those weekly wrap ups. And we've decided after doing the first like four of them that we'd actually switch it and we'd do it monthly instead. Um, you say we decided it was more well, you I, decided. You know, I had a conversation with Meepa, and we talked about whether it was the best way of doing it, about the best way of going forward, but. Um, that we, I, we kind of decided, we kind of talked about what was best, but we didn't actually make the decision. And um, and then I kind of in my head thought that we had, and then we went forward and did stuff. And and then I realised that we hadn't made the decision of whether we was going to do it weekly or monthly. And then I had to say, hey, hey, I, I think we are going to do this monthly, because we kind of decided it would be best to, but we never decided whether we were going to change things, and we have. So yes, so now we're doing it monthly. Um, so at the end of every month, we'll have a wrap up of everything that's gone on. So you'll be able to find out about everything that everybody's done, all their new series, uh, any special episodes, and things like that. So yeah. So oh, I've cool. just thought that's going to ruin my name for the podcast. We can't call it the time of the month anymore. So there's two different things. Well, we've got two times of the month. Mm. We've got the mid month podcast, and we've got the end of the month wrap up. So. Uh, you will get at least two videos a month out of this Lowsome channel. I know and that's not sound... the only thing that comes out at the end of the month, is it, Hellish? What's coming out at the end of the month? <coughs> the oh. F-word podcast, uh, not podcasts, compilation. You're, yeah, uh, well, that's not on this channel, though, is it? I know, but it's still. It's not on the Lowsome channel, but yes, if you Can want... I plug my stuff for yeah, five minutes? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Here you go. You've got 33 seconds. Go. Yes, uh, if you want to see Hellish Saint Fantastic a lot in one video, then go to my channel. Thanks, bye. Oh, Tim, that... that was less than 33 seconds. You're sacked. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yes, yes. Um, so yes, he does do a comp... I didn't realise I said Fantastic quite so much. I was aware that I said it because people have picked up on it quite early on in my channel. And I actually made it my splash intro at the beginning of every one of my uh, new videos now. You get the fantastic at the beginning. Um, but I didn't realise. How, how many was it again, Tidmouth? Uh, for last month, it was 142. Right. So does that mean it was actually 144, but you took two off because there was two not fantastics in there? Yes. Right. <laughs> maths. Who wants to do maths? It's, it's better than my um that I've been doing all over my videos because oh, no. I was no James don't mention that. Tim, uh, I'm doing um compilation for uh, you. 
Uh, oh. Good luck. There'll be a lot of them. I'm, not very, <laughs> I'm just not very. Um, I'm not entirely used to talking to myself on a mic yet, so I, I'm still a little bit awkward trying to feel my way through. So I'm not, not, I'm not found my feet yet. If that, I makes it. Yeah, I can completely mm. understand that. When I first record, started recording videos, uh, I did find talking to myself so difficult that after I recorded the first two. Open TTD tutorials. I immediately deleted them and left it. I went away for about two or three weeks, and didn't come back until I felt that I was more comfortable doing it. Um, so actually, the, the the episodes that you see, uh, apart from the there's one video that is my first video because I didn't delete that. Was I did a vlog first before I did the tutorials, and I think it's called my first video or something like that. And there's actually a picture of my. Uh, there's a inside that video. There's a video of my sister um, hitting me in the head. So if you want to see my sister uh, do uh, abuse to my skull, uh, then uh, you can go watch that video. But I just I just started talking to myself, uh, narrating my life for about two weeks. You know, even just pouring a bowl of cereal, just narrating my own life and what I was doing and just trying to get into a habit of doing it and getting comfortable and it's not easy you feel a right twerp it's not that i mean i'm i mean one of my main hobbies i i, I i'm a games master you know i run D, D type style game so i'm quite used to like talking quite a bit and i do talk a, a lot of rubbish but um it's just talking to yourself is a bit weird i mean i do occasionally walk around the shop and I, occasionally I'll have an argument with myself on the way to the shop. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, you know, I, I kind of know what you mean there. I mean, I, I've been Games Master before for doing lots of role-play type things. Um, I'm Gamer currently Master not... Hellish. Sorry? Your channel name is Gamer Master Hellish, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, the Gamer Master Hellish came from the PC gaming side of it. Well, still. Um, because originally I had four channels. And it was just getting a bit too much to manage. And my vlogs weren't really getting any views. But I kind of figured that some of my my gaming uh, people would kind of like to see my vlogs. But they just weren't aware of them. Um, and it just felt that if I brought it across, people would get to see more of what I do. And it would also be easier for me to manage, which means I could spend more time doing other things. So that's what I did. Are you still doing your wargaming stuff, or have you stopped sort of put a nail on that head for now? Uh, I'm still doing the wargaming stuff. Um, the last thing I did was a real big, uh, kind of a big project, because we did, uh, my me and Arik, who I was actually speaking to on uh, Facebook a moment ago, did a, uh, did a video that was a battle report, basically, a Warhammer 40K, right. 40K battle report. And it was kind of a pilot episode, and we wanted to know you know whether the format that we'd chosen to do it with top-down cameras and all this sort of stuff it was actually quite a lot of work involved in trying to get it right and getting it how we wanted to and then we just wanted to leave it for a while and see what the kind of feedback from that was um but in terms of my uh, my model game uh, my model videos my warhammer and my mantic and all that sort of stuff that is always when i have time so if i have a busy part of my life i don't get any of that done it's the same with the airsofting videos. I go airsofting one or two times a month, but I'll I will record it and only put videos up when I have spare time. And you, I don't. you should so you should get a camera and strap it to your head, and you could do like first person shooter. Well, that's what I do. Um, oh, do you? Yeah, oh. I've got I've got a camera and I strap it to both my gun and my head, and depending on which gun it is. If I'm using my P90, I tend to put it on the gun. If I'm using my shotgun, I tend to put it on my head. Um, but yeah, that's what I've done with a, a lot of my videos, and I would love to do more. But the editing, I, I'm not, I'm not happy with the editing. I, I know I can do better, but the problem is I don't have the time, and I don't have the time to do it anyway. So it's just something I really wish I had more time to do. Um, work is really starting to to pull back on me in my work life now, and the wedding this year, uh, I'm getting married. Congratulations. Ah. Um, and I'm planning on doing a e stag do. What do you think? A what? An e stag do. So we don't get to duct tape you naked to a lamppost then. 
That's correct. <laughs> Damn. I'll, I'll get you so you blindly drunk. You can find a way to do it in a video game. <laughs> so, so blindly drunk you don't know where you actually are, and then you wake up somewhere completely random. <laughs> Uh, well, no, I mean, obviously with uh, my f close friends and my close family that live around here and so forth and that I, uh, and that I see, I'm going to be uh, arranging something with those guys. But because we've got this kind of community going on, uh, we've got obviously my friends that live further away. Uh, I've got uh, you guys in low sum and I've also got the followers that I have on my channel. I kind of wanted to just bring everything in and bring people together a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I, I felt that maybe if I did some sort of East Ag do, we could have an event where we go on Twitch, we play some games, we just do some game giveaways, um, and just do, I just have a laugh and have some fun and just some real random stuff. And you be getting then... Lady Hellish on as well? Uh, Lady Hellish, I think, will be away on her hen do at the same time. Oh, well, true. Uh, so this is an idea. So if you want to... Now, actually, I need help with this because uh, if you want to give suggestions about the sorts of things we could do on this East Ag Do and keep it as clean as possible, um, please pop them down in the comments and let us know uh, if you want us to maybe do... Maybe we could do an open TTT subscriber game at the same time um, and things like that. So just get any of those sorts and ideas, put them down there, and we'll see about that. Well, we could uh, could do a battle royale on Eve or something. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, you know what? I would love to fleet up on Eve uh. and just get everybody who plays Eve. Oh, we can go on a fleet. Yeah, yeah. Rome. Just, just just go on a fleet roam. Uh, whilst we're waiting for the money to come in on Open TTD. Yeah, or or we could just do a last man standing out of whoever wants to join. What? Just like uh, just uh, do a duel. Yeah, well, it's, what you do is everyone has to be in the corpse so they can all shoot each other, and then you just um, find a section of space where there's nobody and then just open fire. Yeah, well, there you are. <laughs> Last man stood the woods. I'm going to turn up in my carrier, and we're like, yep, yeah, sup? No, Mike. Uh, we'd have some sort of restriction on what ships you can use, I'd guess, for that. Uh, it's like everybody has to use. Uh, well, maybe because there's different races, isn't there? But we'd, we'd figure that out. So those are the sorts of suggestions that I want for this uh, East Egg do. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll make it a Lowsome event and we'll put it on the Lowsome Twitch and we'll put it in the Lowsome events. I'll put a link to the Lowsome events in the description. And I just want to have a look um, at the events that we've got coming up. And I'm just trying to find my shortcut to it. We've got shortcuts left, right and centre, haven't we? Um, yeah. just, can anybody remember what the next event is coming up? Because it's G Mod just... Land Race on the yeah. 21st. Ah, right, okay. I can say because I've got it on my calendar literally next to me. <laughs> oh, yes, I see it now. So uh, we're going to do a, a Gary's Mod Land Racer Championship, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, hopefully, we've got a better connection this time. Last time, we just about managed how many people was in the Land Racer? I think there was nine. Was the nine people in the Land Racer Championship? I cannot remember for the life of me. Was that was that on my server that one? I think it might have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was nine. We had the, we could fit a maximum of ten, but like my computer struggled after that. Yeah, I think what we'll do is this time we'll use mine uh, because last time I couldn't host and uh, and uh, stream at the same time, but now I've got the better internet, I can stream and host at the same time. So. We'll do that. Um, I, I'm going to host it. So I reckon this time we'll have at least 10, probably 15 people in there. Um, and I haven't decided yet whether we're going to uh, do teams or not. Uh, I thought it'd be quite cool to do a relay. So one player drives around, the, uh, around it once, and then you have to get into the pits, swap over, one person get in. And of course, because you, have, you only control the thing that you dupe, uh, so they get out the car, delete it, the other person dupes it in, gets in it, and drives off. Um, and kind of do it like a, a relay race between the two two team players. Um, but that's what I was thinking at the minute. I'm not really 100% sure. Ooh, I've got an idea. You could do a, what is essentially a remote-controlled car race, which is um, you have the person who builds it stood on a tower in the middle of the racetrack, and then you have someone sit in it, and they have to... The person on the tower steers, but the um, person sat in it directs. Ah, right, okay, kind of, right, relaying the directions. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit like one of the um, 
the race modes in GTA 5, you can have uh, the person who's driving unable to see all the checkpoints, and then the other person relaying where the checkpoints are via like headset and stuff, which is quite cool. I think it'd be really fun because it turned into a hectic mess very quickly. Yeah, and we could deliberately place the other person in a place where they are they can't see the whole track. Yeah. The, Underground so. or something, or in a box. Yeah. Or, what we could do, and this is something that I was toying with the idea with, and you've kind of reminded me, is we could do it so that one person gets in the vehicle, and it's actually one of those kind of um, pre-made vehicles with the steering, right? Mm -hmm. But then the second person gets to control thrusters, so one person's controlling the steering, and one person's controlling the acceleration, and the jumping and the thrusters and the and maybe like the spinning or something I don't know. Uh, so between them they're driving it. I I I don't know whether that would work, whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. I, I like it. I like it. I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd work. Tidmouth James, what do you think to that idea? Uh, it could be I don't interesting. Know. I don't. It, it'd be interesting, but I don't have gaze mods. <laughs> I'd have to sit out and just oh. view. Right, we're gonna have to sort James out with Gary's mod somehow. Uh, let me have a look. I, th I think I can find it cheap. Well, at one point, I had a spare code for it. Um, but I don't think I do anymore. I'd have to check. Um, I think I, I changed. I, I kept it for a game giveaway. So will this e-stag do follow up with an e-honeymoon? Uh, no, we won't be doing an e-honeymoon. Um, in fact, uh, me and Lady Hellish need to book our honeymoon. We haven't even booked it yet. Ooh. Can yeah. I hear Canvey Island's good this time. <laughs> 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 we could just go off into Minecraft and have an <laughs> e honeymoon inside Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I think your marriage would last not very long. <laughs> You're right. She would just leave me. What's that? You got me a Minecraft account? I thought we were going to Tahiti. Um, I'd, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be very good that. But um, uh, so as a result, now uh, this is something I was going to announce on my channel, but seeing as we're kind of talking about it anyway. I am going to take a month off videos on my channel. Okay, there might be a couple of little vlog videos around that time, but apart from that, we're going I'm going to have time out because um you know, these videos take probably a good, you know, 20 hours a week of my life and when you work full time and then do that and then I, uh, you know, everything else, I can't keep doing that whilst the wedding's going on. Um so, Maybe you should just let someone else take over your channel. Well, I tried that, and look what happened, Tidmouth. I probably won't forget to turn on my microphone more than once. The right. main problem would probably be sort of getting bored or running out of ideas really early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well... Um, that episode I did the we, other day, we, I had to consult an idea that you'd given we, me beforehand. <laughs> we, could, we could do Twitch controls a channel like Twitch controls Pokemon. <laughs> oh god, that was a nightmare. There's actually a, a funny video on YouTube, uh, which is Twitch plays Minecraft, which is quite funny. But no, you could, you could, you could leave just like leave it as a community, like the, not the community, but like people on here to make sure that. You know, so if Tidmouth is coming up with short on ideas, we can all go. Well, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? What about this? What about that? And we could just do it as a community thing, just to make sure that you sort of stay in there. So, well, it wouldn't be you anyway. It'd be like just have me plugged into the be, computer twenty four seven. It'd be like it'd be like the supply teacher, wouldn't it? No one would pay any attention, and then and then it would just be utter chaos. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! This Instant ten thousand subscribers. A supply teacher. I wouldn't we, make a very good supply teacher. I hate we, children. We, we <laughs> tormented supply teachers like Tidmouth. We were brutal. Oh dear. Well, um. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, um, what I was thinking as well, and this is an idea for the future, right? Once we get the number of streamers and the number of YouTubers in Lowsome that I want, and we get Lowsome running, and maybe it's gone past its first year or so, so I'm talking like year two or three at least, um, I'm thinking maybe we try and get a 24-hour Twitch channel going. Ooh, that yes. sounds brutal. It sounds very difficult and very hard to do, but I'm wondering if it would be possible. 
Um, because it, it would just be really cool. It probably would be. You just need people with the same all the same logins, wouldn't you? You need to arrange it. Well, no, we, we can give the access, um, like like I gave uh, Timoth access to stream on my channel. Um, but it's you know it's it's real. It, it'd be really difficult to do, but it'd just be so cool. Well, I don't know if it'd be really difficult. It'd be you'd just have to get it all sorted and make sure that there's people covering every time zone, and that would be it. But yeah, you'd have to make sure we've got people from different time zones and stuff like that. It'd so be like that, a relay race, but you're not sure if the next person's going to be there or not. <laughs> well, you just have to have have backups on a backup, if that makes any sense. I'm sure we'd probably just have a schedule, wouldn't we? Yeah, we'd have a schedule. But schedules never always work anyway. Things can go wrong, stuff like that. And you say that's an idea for the future. Technically, we're in the future. If the Back future. to the Future is to be concerned. Well, if, if Back to the Future is to be concerned, we're nearly in that future. Yeah, um, we've got I can't wait for Jaws nineteen. <laughs> eh? I can't wait for Jaws nineteen. <laughs> Jaws nineteen. What Jaws are we on at the minute? Uh, I think Four? It was five. I think. Well, we've got a lot. Of, we've got a lot of Jaws films to get in before the actual, we actually get round to that point. Well, if you count Sharknado, we could say we're up to seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't think you can really count Sharknado because unless unless they take the Microsoft. Uh, way of numbering things, and they just change it. Yeah. Well, to be fair, there was, a reason, <laughs> there was a reason for not having Windows 9 and turning it to Windows 10. Did I say Microsoft? Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. That's what I meant. I was just thinking about something else. Because they, they really just don't number stuff properly. Um, I mean, they got the Xbox 360, sorry, the Xbox, the Xbox 360, and then the Xbox One. That's incorrect for a start. Yeah, but 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 they're all doing it. All gaming companies are doing it. They, they, so you have like a, what is it? Thief, Thief Two, Thief, whatever. And then we're back to Thief again. So I mean, it's not just it's not just Microsoft. It's everyone who's doing it. Yeah, but it really really annoys me. At least Sony can number their consoles, right? <coughs> they don't know that. Two yeah. things. Two One, things. One, two, three, four. That's the simple. <laughs> two things. Hellish. One. It's consoles, so don't worry about it, because they're dirty peasants. <laughs> Two, they're still dirty peasants, so you should be ignoring them. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not just consoles, though. They screw up the games as well. Yeah, PC get uh, Half-Life. Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Half-Life 2, Episode 2. What? <laughs> well, no, no, you can kind of get away with that, because it's like 2.1, 2.2. So that's fine. But yeah, but what... why would you have Episode 1 as the second game? 1 plus 2, Half-Life 3 confirmed. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll bring out Half Life Five next, and then they'll go back to Half Life One. I I heard somewhere the other day. I can't remember where it was. I heard it, but they're already starting work on GTA Six. Yes, yes, they are. I haven't even got GTA Five yet. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Maybe uh, if they f release GTA Five on PC, then start work on GTA Six. I bet you they'll release like GTA Six, and then they'll add the heists to online. <laughs> The heists are supposed to be coming out of PC, aren't they? Yeah, they were supposed to be coming out like about eight updates ago. <laughs> I've got it on Xbox, uh, GTA Five, but I don't have it on. It's not out on PC yet. But... To be honest, the heist update is a bit like um, the sort of running gag in the Minecraft update, saying Herobine is removed from the game. <laughs> There's so many different updates where it says that in the uh, update list. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I actually like that kind of humour that developers and games companies can have with their games. Um, if they just, just take it way too seriously and just don't get in there with their games in that way, it's nice to see that sort of thing. I mean, I, I got an error uh, when using YouTube. Was it YouTube or Google? It was. Well, I know it's owned by the same company, but um, I got an error, and the error came up something like, oh, we're sending a bunch of trained monkeys to come and fix the issue. Yeah, that's on YouTube. And... <laughs> I, it just made me very, very pleased. I, I've never been so pleased to receive an error in all my life. I must admit, <laughs> and I, it's this kind of, this kind of thing that I like in games, and this is something the things that some of the big games are missing. It's like when uh, Kerbal Space Program's loading at the bottom of the screen, you get your funny little loading things. Back in the day of, like, was it, uh, theme, 
Park or Theme Hospital, I think it had something similar like that. I can't remember. Uh, my brain is melting out of my ear like wet cake. Um, wow. But, yeah, it's just those little funny tidbits that aren't in games as much anymore that I really miss. Wet cake? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a quote from Black Books, a uh, ver uh, very weird British comedy uh, starring, I think it's Dylan Morang and Bill Bailey and, oh, who plays the woman? I think she went on to do Smack the Pony and then something else. It's quite funny. Didn't um, I thought Smack the Pony came out before. I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, uh, it, uh, Bill Bailey eats the little book of calm and it all goes horribly wrong from there. Oh, I, I have seen Black Books. I've only seen the first two seasons. Yeah, I, own, but... I own all three, but I've never seen the third season. What? what? I don't know. I don't know. I've just never got around to watching it. Never got around to watching it. Right. As soon as this podcast is over, you need to go and do that. I've got videos to do. And get Gary's mod. And get Gary's mod. I don't. I can't afford it at the moment. I'll have to wait. Logo. Um, Gary's mod on G two A is three pound ten. I don't okay. even have three pounds ten. <laughs> you spent everything on his no, computer, feeling. I think, didn't you? I did spend a lot of I money. Yeah. Yeah, I saved up for a year for my computer, and it's not even a particularly good one. How much did you spend? Sorry, be nosy. Like four hundred quid. Five hundred. Ah, mine's better than yours. Yeah, did, obviously, did, but... did, did you build it? No, I didn't. Ah, uh, well, that 200 of that's gone into, like, them building it for you, so you've actually got probably a free yeah, computer. Yeah, I know. It's just, um, I, I, did, I didn't have a lot at the time, and I didn't well, have time to... it actually, because some computers that are pre-built and put out in a, on a large scale can actually be quite cheap. My second computer down here that we used to use as a server for Lowsome for quite a while, um, that one was just a cheap one from Argos, and it did the job very well. Oh, okay. To be fair, I'll, we're kind of um, describing yes. sort of things value, well, not value, sort of things quality compared by their value, which isn't always the right thing to do, I suppose. But, no, you, I you, mean, you can get some brilliant stuff at Poundland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. You can go to Poundland and get some amazing... This is something that I've never understood, right? Because I'm not a fashion person. Uh, I don't understand fashion, right? I go out there into the high street, all right, and I get a pair of jeans from Debenhams or from anywhere else, or the retailers are available, but they're not as close to my house. And <laughs> I buy what I want, and it may or may not be a reasonable price, but then I go further down the high street or up to a different place, and I see something that looks pretty much identical, except it's a different brand, and and it might have a hole in it. And it's like triple if not got a zero on the end of the price and i'm thinking why why i, I really just can't get my head around that and it's, it's, the sa it's the same with technology i know there's uh there were, when i was buying my first big tv after i uh, came out of uni um there was a there was a sony tv and then there was i think a, a samsung tv next to it I said to the guy, uh, well, how much of a difference between the two is there? And he says, well, the screens are made in the same factory. Let's start at there. And I was thinking to myself, well, if the screens are made on the same factory, how much behind those screens is different? Um, and how much of it is just the name? Well, well, well there, uh, there's even a... I can boil it down to even a smaller thing that you may think of. Right? Heinz Baked Beans, okay? This is completely off topic, but round hand. <laughs> Right, Heinz baked beans. So during the day they can them as Heinz baked beans. At night they can them as as a, a supermarket's own brand. And they're they're like literally a f less over probably seventy five percent, less than seventy five percent the price. But they're exactly the same thing apart yeah. from the can or well, not the can but the label and that's it. That's it. So See, that's I've, what you're paying for the label. I've tried Tesco's beans and they taste pretty bad. <laughs> it might not be Tesco's, it might be someone else, I'm not entirely sure, but, I mean, well, it really is... a sponsorship on this video. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no Tesco. The other, oh, no, other... we were going to get sponsored by Tesco's, uh, now we've lost it. <laughs> other supermarkets are available. Yeah, we'll have to go with Asda instead. <laughs> I know yeah. exactly what you mean, James, though, because uh, sometimes I take a medication, and I'm going to, I'm going to pronounce it very wrong now. Um, but in my dyslexic ways, I call it citrosine hyrochloride, right? And it's basically allergy tablets that you get from the supermarket. Now, they're 10 milligrams, and you can get either the own brand ones or you can get the branded ones. Now, the branded ones is a very well-known brand. It begins with a P. 
and the ingredients on the back is exactly the same. Yet one cost me 99p for 14 days, and the other one would cost somebody three pound something for seven days. Yeah, that's like nearly 600. No, that is a 600 percent difference, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've I have to buy the same medication. It's it's such a rip off. I'm sure a lot of geeks actually have that similar medication problem. We ha- yeah. we've got the allergies. That that's a that's a side effect of being a geek. Uh, if you want to get rid of your allergies, you have to stop being a geek. I think that's how I understand how it works. I saw a video on YouTube actually. It was sort of like I think it was the top fifteen scams that we're still paying for, and that was one of them. Sort of saying just unbranded sort of medication it's just exactly the same as the branded stuff but you go for the branded stuff because you think oh that's a brand i can trust that yeah just just to go back a bit to you you know you have to give up a geek i can't give up being a geek i'm a geek for life i think that we should have that on a t-shirt loathsome <laughs> geeks for life well if you um get enough uh favorites on twitch uh twitch do a tv a, a t-shirt deal all right yeah, a couple of the people I subscribe to have just got it. Cool, cool. Um, I do also have facilities for making T-shirts and stuff as well. Uh, it's something I've done in the past um, for various different reasons. You get um, Lady Hellish to knit them. No. <laughs> yeah, that's all that she does. She just, oh, by the way, um, I just want to have a little personal moment here. Congratulations, Lady Hellish, on your exam results. You are fantastic there we go um uh i don't know if she's told all her family and friends yet but by the time that this recording goes out she will have or you hope uh, i'd just like to say well done you've been working very hard for the past three god knows how many years uh that poor lass has been in education pretty much since she was four um doing various different things and now she's got another degree under her belt so uh well done to her um so yeah, and if anybody wants to know, she's a goggleologist, and if you want to know what one of those is, you'll have to speak to my dad because he's a very special person. Goggleologist? What? A goggleologist. If if you um if you can work that out, I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a geek point. Do you mean she's a Googleologist and she's one no. of the uh, trained monkeys? No, <laughs> no. You're calling my fiance a monkey? No. No. <laughs> no, sister. Right there we are. You're sacked. Oh, that's twice in one podcast. <laughs> I think that's a record, Timothy, don't you? You're going for the hat trick? Uh, I don't know. Your hair's stupid. No, my hair is stupid. I did a vlog oh. recently about my hair. Uh, just because. I know, I still need to watch that. People, I watched... uh, people run... mentioned it. He runs away from women. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, that's what why? I said in my podcast. Why? Why'd you run away from women? Well, I have one. I don't need any more. That, that's right. really that's really my concept behind running away from women, uh, because I I'm a geek and another side effect of being a geek is very often a lot of geeks uh, cannot handle women very well. Now uh, I don't know why that is, and I'm making a big generalisation, but uh, I think it's a fairly accurate generalisation. And um, no, I don't really know how to handle the situation. Um, I, I don't like it when a girl comes up to me and she seems interested. In fact. And and this is the thing you see. I've got a story here, and it can cause some big problems. Uh, I was at the Ooh. bar once, and and this lass comes up to me, and she I don't know what she had passed whilst we were dancing on the dance floor, having a good time and all that, and she came up to me at the, uh, and said something, and I didn't know what she said. I didn't hear her, and me being really clever, not thought oh, I don't know what did she say. I'm not going to ask her. I'm not interested. Uh, I said no. Uh, I just said no to her and turned around uh, and went to continue on with my drinks because I thought, you know, I have a girl. I don't need another girl or anything like that. I'm quite happy. Uh, So I said no to her. The problem was is because I didn't actually know what the question was. And it only turned out later, apparent to me, that the question was thus. Do you mind if me and my friend come and dance with you? At which point, obviously, the answer no doesn't really follow what I wanted to happen. So then these two girls come over and they start trying to dance with me and my friends. 
And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. And then, then Lady Hellish is there next to me. And she's like, what are these girls doing? What's going on? And uh, yeah, basically, don't just say no, because no can actually get you in trouble. That's, um, the, moral, that's the moral art story. Can I disagree? Why? Because, cause, cause, right, because I work in a nightclub, you see a lot of things happen, right? When you have a girlfriend, all the other women somehow get this thing that you're available for some reason, and you seem to pick up chicks a lot easier when you're not single. When you're single, you have this, like, sonar that's, like, sending out to all women going, yeah, we, we, yeah, he's single, he's obviously desperate. But when you when you have a girlfriend, you're not, you haven't got that sort of desperate desperation sort of vibe about you. Mm. So that's probably what they picked up on. Yeah, I, I don't know whether it's that desperation vibe. I think it's the other way around. I think it it's that casual, relaxed, you're not sat there thinking you, you have to impress. So you're just there to have a good time. Because um, I don't all when I go out, I'm not always with Lady Hellish. Um, and when I'm not, you know, I'm there with my mates, we're having a good time. And I'm not there to impress anybody. And I'm not there trying to. And I think it's that that latches people on and, and, and actually gets you the attention as opposed to when you are looking for somebody. Because you are casual, you are relaxed, you are just having a good time. And I think that is really something that... Why are we getting into relationship and dating and nightclub pickups? <laughs> I don't know. It's close well, to Valentine's to Day. Well, well, let's be honest. If the best way to get away with it, like, as James said... They seem to have some sort of magnetism to guys that are already taken. Is to go with a female friend who doesn't mind like something else happening because they're, they're still thinking, "Oh, they're going out," but then you can just talk to them normally and not be an absolute think, pansy. No, I think it's a mind. I think it's the mind frame you're in though, because you're yeah. still you'll still be sort of looking for it. It's but, your mind frame, yeah. Uh, nah. Yeah, uh, it's just what I mean. I've worked in a club for fifteen years. I see. I've seen everything. <laughs> that you could possibly imagine happen in a nightclub. <laughs> uh, what part of the country, James, if you don't mind saying, are you in? Uh, Essex. Right, OK, so there we are. We're more than likely talking about Essex nightclubs as well. I don't know if that has anything to say about the situation. He saw Nerd Cubed and didn't say anything. <laughs> Who saw Nerd Cubed? James, he's telling me about this before the podcast. <laughs> Hang on, right, let's get this story. What, James? You, you met Nerd Cubed? Before he was... Because he lives in Westcliff. Uh, he used to live in Westcliff, okay, which is South End area, and I'm in the South End area. The nightclub I work at is quite well known among alternative scenes because it's like the oldest alternative nightclub in, in, in England. Um, and basically, he used to go there with his ex girlfriend before she was his ex girlfriend, like all the time. And I'd seen him, I, and, I, and I was like, I'm sure I've seen you. You know, you know, because I'm really good at remembering faces. I'm really bad at remembering names, but a face I never forget. And when he, when he did an A and A, a few, was it last year or something? I asked, "Have you ever been to this night? You know, the nightclub I work at?" And he was like, "Yes, I used to go there all the time." And I was like, "I, I knew it." So yeah, so it, before he was famous, I had met Naoki. Ah, right, okay. Well, I got a similar story. Um... Now, who was it? Um, oh, help me out here. Who does the World of Tanks stuff that Clapo and Ma uh, Magic Monkey follows? Oh, no, the name slipped from my mind. I've got that name blank thing disease. Where you uh, just can't remember a name. I have oh, no is it idea. called stupidity? No, no, not the name. Uh, I, will, I will have to find... Uh, uh, jingles, Mighty Jingles, right? Um, I've never read of him. Right, I was stood right next to the Mighty Jingles at EGX convention in London. Had no idea that I was stood right next to him. I could have turned around, had a chat with him. You know, I had my camera and everything. I could have recorded. Um, but in my defence, right, I didn't know it was him. He was dressed in a full uh, Stormtrooper outfit. Um so, so I couldn't actually see that it was him in there. But I remember being next to this stormtrooper and walking by him and, and, and uh, being around that. And then I see his vlog of going to EGX, the same place that I went to. 
and he was there in the Stormtrooper outfit, and he takes the hat on and stuff off later on in the vlog and things. And I'm thinking, man, I was stood next to you. If I'd have known that I was stood next to you, I could have said hello. But I suppose that's one of the reasons maybe why he went dressed as a Stormtrooper. I yeah, it would be like uh, Matt Smith going to Comic-Con dressed as Bart Simpson, so no one recognised him. <laughs> Well, well, maybe that's it. But then he did later on, when I wasn't around, he had took the hat off and was saying hello to people and stuff. So it wasn't as if he was hiding out. So maybe he knew. Talking. He's like, well, oh, maybe he that knew. Master He's... Hellish guy's here. I'd better wear the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Mighty Jiggles was hiding from me. I don't think so. But... We got really off topic, didn't we? That's that's the whole point of these. Uh, of Maybe these, we should uh, just uh, claw it back towards the end with some gaming news. Gaming news. What's our gaming news then, Tidmouth? Uh, there's a few things here on Gamespot.com. Uh, Assassin's Creed movie, which is apparently entering production. Right. Assassin's Creed is probably one of those games that I'd like to get into, and I probably would get into if I had the time. But I know it, it'd be a big time sink for me, so I avoid it. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, something to do with that. Uh, this uh, video of someone driving at 242 miles an hour in a video game. <laughs> wow. Um, what car? Uh, I'm not sure, but it is in the game Drive Club on PlayStation 4. Fair enough. Oh yeah, all those driving games that are a bit ridiculous in my opinion. You know, especially some of the some of the real kind of drifty kind of ones. You know, the the ones that are try, uh, trying to peel out to like the. You remember? Oh, when was it? If you go back maybe five or ten years, it was kind of a boy racery kind of time. You would see the boy racers out in the car parks late at night with their glowy lights and stuff like that. You don't get that anymore. And there was a bit of a culture around that time. And the, some of those games came out. And some of the speedos were stupid, going like up to 400 mile an hour and stupid things like that. It was, it was just a pastime gone by. And I think a particularly important piece of news uh, for our group in particular uh, would be the announcement of Minecon in July. Yeah. yeah in no. London. <laughs> Apparently, now I haven't actually seen any official announcement. Have, is, have you seen official or is it unofficial, Tidman? Uh This is on Mo Yang's website. Uh, I think we'll take that. I think we'll call it's that. It's still official. their latest uh, update, and that was uh, ten days ago. They haven't updated since. Right. Okay. So they've, have they named the place? Uh, XL London Exhibition and Conference Centre. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'll be getting a bus. Uh, I'll go around the country picking up the loathsome guys, and we'll head over down to London for uh, Minecon. Oh, oh, I'll go on the train. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just need oh, to God. go over. That's it. It's li- I'll drive there. It's literally in spitting distance. I'll go on driving. the train for free. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I can drive. There's nothing wrong with my driving. Nobody's died yet. You nearly decapitated me. <laughs> now we said we weren't going to talk about that. Again. No. No, I, I will bring this up at every opportunity until you pay compensation for that. Flashback. I haven't actually heard about this. What was this? Join next time for <laughs> the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, I had Mike in the back of my car. And front seat. We go- front seat, was it? It was front seat. I thought he was in the back of my car. No, I was we in the front seat. We were seat. going to a LAN party, weren't we? Yeah. And there were, we had all the computer equipment and stuff in the boot and in the back. But I had the tables, like the trestle tables, that the, te- the the computers and stuff were going to be on, in the car. And as I went round the corner, they kind of were just jamming themselves in the side of Mike's neck. Um, so I had to be careful about how fast I was doing round the corners. Um, so yeah, that that wasn't good. Um, maybe we could. The problem is my car is you can't strap anything to the roof. It's too small. But- <coughs> I haven't even got those tables anymore. They're at Mark Kyle's house. Oh, what are they doing there? Uh, we, I took them there for a uh, tabletop war game in Mordeheim event. Ah. Which I like how Mike's more. genuinely getting angry. <laughs> see, see. Oh, sorry. Sorry, this I... is... sorry, something really loud just drove past the... Well, just drove past the end of the road. Um, yeah, that's why... I, I mean, that's an idea I had. Perhaps when the My, Mordheim game eventually comes out fully we could have like a, a, a lonesome like campaign or something if they do campaign 
maybe. I, I haven't got any plans to buy that game at the minute. Okay. Load some heist in GTA. <laughs> yeah, we, we are going to get a, a, a band going to... What are they calling GTA clan? Uh, us, oh, I can't remember. Is it a gang? What? It case? might be a gang. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm, I know you can be more than one gang. Though. You don't have to just be part of one gang. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Well, um, well, welcome to the podcast if you've been listening, and uh, thank you for hanging around through our various off-topic conversations. Um. We started with low sum events and so forth, and managed to dive all the way through to picking up girls in clubs. It's Valentine's Day. I think they'll let us off. It's it's the day. Well, this this it's is nearly Valentine's the day after day. Valentine's Day. Uh, so uh, happy Valentine's Day for yesterday to everybody. How was it Valentine? Oh, How was it Valentine's yesterday? It will be by the time this video goes out. Oh, it's Valentine's today. No, it's not. It's I'm confused. It's the video goes out on the 15th, James. Oh, does it? Yes. We record it a couple of days before because I'm, I am I can't make the 15th. Oh, because you've got to go on a Valentine's thing, yeah? We've, we've got to pretend that today's the 15th for the oh, viewers. Okay. Can you do that for yeah. me? Yeah, all right. Forever okay, alone. So, <laughs> so, now, so now we're pretending to, that today's the, the 15th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So which means yesterday was the 14th. You got that? Okay, yep. Okay. And, and the 14th is Valentine's Day, okay? Oh. So what we do is we say, Happy Valentine's Day for yesterday. Oh, okay, you can say that. I was alone yesterday. Oh, right. Now you're predicting what happened. <laughs> and that, look, I can guarantee it. I can see don't the say that. Don't say that you were alone. You'll start Tidmouth off singing again. To be fair, Meeper predicted that he was going to win Peter's Leaf and he managed to do that. That's true. Next year, I've already said it once. I'm saying it again. Next year, we are going to knock Tidmouth, or, uh, not Tidmouth, uh, Meeper off that spot. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, who? Uh, what? What? What event did we have last time? Uh, Open had... DTD number five. Yeah, and then, then we've actually got the the Land Racer Championships. Who won that last time? It was you, Tidmouth, wasn't it? I d you seem to say it's me. I don't remember winning it. <laughs> right. I'm going to go was it to Clapo? the website. I thought it was Clapo. I'm going to the website right now. Uh, the guys. It's, I think you have put see. on the website that it was me, but I, I honestly don't remember winning it. I thought I, it was Clapo as well. Well, we've got video evidence. Maybe you came second. I don't know. Uh, let's go to the uh, Lowsum website. So here's the geeks of Lowsum. Um, and I'm just doing this on the podcast screen. So if you're just listening to the podcast, you can actually flick through over to where you've got it running now and have a look. Uh, on this screen, I can bring up the Lowsome Championships. Uh, Minecraft, Gary's Mod, Fistful of Frags. Um, Minecraft Miss... Oh, here we are. Land right Now, according to this, Tidmouth, you came first. Clapo came second. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've got the video here as well. Um... I'm going to mute it and see if I can I can uh, check it out live on the on this event. But never mind. Because there was different uh, races as well. Because there was sort of like a big car race, a little car race, and then there was one mixed race, and then there was a random buggy race at the end. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can see, I can see that we've got. The I think I came at least race. third in the buggy race because I cheated and cut off the last corner. <laughs> I, I think I came second, but I rammed you off road at one point, didn't I? Yeah, that, <laughs> I remember that. That's the point. I never edited that video. I I had that waiting for ages, and I just never finished it. Well, I'm looking at the I'm look reviewing the footage now, and Clapo had the big tanky thing, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, did you have the cart with the big wheels and the stupid big? I had the uh, yellow peril. Oh, you, weren't in, you weren't in the final. No, I didn't think I was. You wasn't even in the final. No. Well, that's weird. I think it was Clapo versus uh, Jackamac, I want to say. Oh, it might have been Jackamac. Tidmouth, yeah. Tidmouth, you know what you need to do next time? And they go, yeah, you came first, didn't you? You should go, yes, I did. Just, well, just, I'm very just honest. <laughs> just okay. go, yeah, yeah, I did, I did come well, first. The, there we, we can actually see it on the podcast pass screen now. We're, we're having a bit of a replay of this situation, and uh, I've got the last lap playing. So as we wrap up this podcast, we'll be able to see what happened here, whether 
Clapo came first or second, and we'll figure out who the other guy was. I can't actually see from here. I'm going to see if it actually pops up on the screen. The other guy was faster uh, than Clapo, but Clapo was more of a slow and, slow and steady and had more control. And I, it wasn't you, Tidmouth, because you did. You were right. You had the yellow apparel. And I think it might have been Jackamack, so apologies. I need to get that updated on the website. Uh, I'm going to blame Clapo. Damn That's it, Clapo. Yeah. The fact I can look on my folder here, because I've got a screenshot of everyone standing next to their no, respective vehicles. I, I actually just looked at you on the stream then, and you were actually at the finish line taking photos. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I think so it was Jackamack. Yeah. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a uh, correction to make. Um, but that is, uh, that's going to be pretty much all of us for now. Um, so watch out for the 2015 Losa Minecraft, uh, sorry, my, my Land Racer Championships. Um, if you want to find out more information, the link to all of our events is in the description. 21st of February, we're going to be doing that event. If you want to take part, uh, information about how to take part is in that event. So go check it out. Uh, and then in March, we'll be having the Fistful of Frags Championship. And we've got a few other things lined up, uh, including an Air Racer Championship, a Minecraft Missile Wars Championship, and lots of subscriber games. So check out them as well. But that's all from us for now. Uh, thank you for listening to our random ramblings. Um, and I think next time we're going to have uh, a GTA special. Is it? Will GTA be out by then? I can't uh, remember what we... 27th of March. March. No, not quite. No, so oh, um, April will be our GTA special. All right. Uh, so if you want uh, any suggestions for what you want to hear in the uh, March's podcast, any questions, thoughts, ideas, pop them down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the podcast, remember to give it a like, and we will see you all sometime soon. But from me, Mad Mike, Tidmouth, and our new member, James, it's goodbye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.